Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring. So the very first thing we want to make sure that we must take care of this fraction. We must remove these fractions. So look at the bottom numbers, the denominators. These denominators are 2 and 2. So that means our least common denominator is going to be 2. So that means I'm going to multiply both all the way across the board by 2. Multiply this one by 2, multiply second, this term by 2, this by 2, and over here by 2 across the board. So that is now 2 times 5 is simply is going to become 10x square. This 2 and 2 cancels out, so we got minus 17x, and then this 2 and 2 is gone, plus 3 equal to 2 times 0 is simply 0. So as you can see, we got this quadratic equation without having any fractions. Now we're going to go ahead and find the factors for this one. So let me show you a super easy way to find the factors on the left hand side. I want you to just put down two, two parentheses on left hand side. Okay, so I want you to just put down this part only, 10x over here. Just disregard this square. I want you to put down 10x in the first parentheses and 10 x in the second parentheses. So the next step I want you to look at the left hand side. This number is 10. On the right hand side this number is positive 3. I want you to multiply these two end numbers. 10 times 3 is going to be 30. So I want you to write down that 30 over here on the top in this diagram. Now I want you to look at this middle number which is negative 17. Write it down at the bottom right up here. Now I want you to find two factors of 30. If you add them that's going to give you negative 17 and the possible factor is going to be obviously negative 2 and minus 15. So negative 2 and negative 15 are our two factors. If you multiply them, you're going to get positive 30. And if you add them, we're going to get negative 17. So I want you to put down these two factors, negative 2 in the first parentheses and negative 15 in the second parentheses. Now in our next step, I want you to focus on the very first parentheses. The numbers over here are 10 and 2. I want you to find the GCF. That means look for the biggest number that divides into both of them at the same time. And of course the GCF of 10 and 2 is going to be obviously 2. So divide them up by 2. Now look at the, in the second parentheses. Look at what are those numbers 10 and 15 so the GCF is obviously is going to be 5 so divide these one by 5 now let's go ahead and simplify so the first parenthesis is going to become 5x minus 1 and the second parenthesis is going to become 2x minus 3 equal to 0 so far so good so now I want you to separate them, split them up, these two parentheses. So 5x minus 1 equal to 0 and 2x minus 3 equal to 0. I want you to now move this negative 1 on the other side. So this is going to become negative 5x. When you move negative 1 on the other side, become positive 5. I want you to divide both sides by 5. So when you divide it by 5, so this is going to give you x equal to 1 fifth. So x equal to 1 fifth is our one of our solutions. In this case, I want you to move this 
negative 3 on the other side so 2x equal to positive 3 I want you to divide both side by 2 so x turns out to be 3 over 2 as another solution thus our solution set turns out to be a 1 fifth and 3 over 2 thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos